This right here is an amazing question. If you use birth control, does it delay menopause? Now, logically, it feels correct to say, yeah, it's going to delay menopause because you're saving eggs. But we have to go back to the concept of atresia. In each ovary, depending on your age, there are hundreds of thousands of eggs waiting to be matured and hopefully ovulate. But you have to remember that you only ovulate about 450 times in your whole life. So what happens to the rest of those eggs? It's atresia. Remember that all these egg cells, these primordial egg cells, were formed when you were 20 weeks old. Remember, that's 20 weeks when you were in the womb, not 20 weeks after birth. But all along the way, those primordial eggs are turning into tertiary eggs. Those are just basically eggs that are ready for the next step when you hit puberty. Now, for one reason or another, what can happen while they're developing is that they just don't. They stop for some reason and they just degenerate. They never reach any other stages. And atresia, this process, it actually starts while you're still in the womb. So you're actually losing primordial egg cells before you're even born. And you lose millions of them this way because when you're born, this is 5 million. By the time you're at puberty, you're somewhere between two and 500,000 total. But after puberty, that atresia does not stop. That same process is still taking place whether you ovulate or not. Thus, when you're on birth control, it's not actually affecting that side of it. So while you might be saving one egg or a few eggs from being initiated by the brain hormones, you're not stopping the atresia that's taking place in the background. However, if you're an enterprising little monkey like me, you can still find little tidbits like this via Google that say it does. So for the sake of argument, let's say we're saving a handful of eggs or even a few hundred eggs in the face of the thousands that are being lost, the cumulative effect and the amount of time it's going to buy you in menopause or being in menopause is probably not that dramatic. A quick side note, birth control can mask the symptoms of menopause. So if you're around that age, just be aware of that. So are there any legitimate ways to extend your fertility window? One way that's shown some promise is breastfeeding. And another is actually regular sexual activity. On the flip side of that, if you want early menopause, you can just become a smoker. Please don't do that. If this is your first time here, I'm Josh, just your friendly neighborhood anatomy teacher. If you've been around for a while, thanks for learning with me. And if you got a question, you know what to do.